Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Laravel hotel management system project using AI for free. I mean, you don't need to do any coding here and you don't have to pay for the AI also, okay? So, uh, to do this, we need to install Laravel in our PC and for the Laravel, we uh, need here a server and we'll use Jam for the server so that uh, we can actually get localhost server and at the same time MySQL server also. And after that, we will use Composer for the version control. And then we will use Node.js because we need to install OpenCore CLI in our PC. Uh, so we need to run a command. And there is a reason actually you need to have Node.js in our PC. So basically, these three things we need to have in our PC. One is Composer, another one is Node.js, and, and another one is Jamp. And after that, we will actually run a command for the free uh, AI and that is called open code CLI. So let's just go step by step. At first, we'll go to the browser and go for the jam. And you just have to download this. So go to the download section and here download the latest version and install it. I'm assuming that you can install it. And if you install it in, let's say, any drive, you will find a folder called jam. In this case, I have installed it in the Windows installation drive and that is C drive. And here you can see I have a folder called jam. If you install it in different drive, you will find a same folder, jam. So go to the jam and then inside stdocs, you have to actually write or create all the project. So, but we know in Laravel, we can actually create project globally also through Composer. So let's go to the Composer, go download it, Composer, click here download and download Composer setup.txe and after that, we need node.js so go to the node.js.org and download this so this is the current version we'll actually go with the long term support version and then click here dot msi to download it and after that you have to actually install it so you need these three things and after that you can actually go for the open code cli github so here you'll find a bunch of different links but go with the github.com then sst then open code so open it here you go. If you scroll a little bit down, you will find this screenshot and here you will find installation process. So we are going to copy this uh, command, okay, in our command prompt. So let me show you. I have jump installed, here you can see. So this is the control panel, jump control panel. And here we are going to open two server. One is Apache, another one is MySQL. So now let's copy this. And let's go to the command prompt. Open it. Right click on it to paste it. Here you can see npm i hyphen g open core cli hyphen ai at latest. You have to hit enter and it will be actually installed. I already installed this. So if I say here open code, if I hit enter, open code will be open here. Here we go. Now ask anything, fix a to do in this uh, in the code base. Okay. So basically, what I have to do now you have to actually go to the any GPT, let's say chat GPT, Google Studio AI, or maybe Gemini, or any other uh, GPT actually you want to go with. So just go there and ask for a good prompt so that you can actually uh, create the whole project to open code CLI. And what you have to do, you have to copy the prompt and then you have to paste the prompt here and you have to hit enter to execute it. We are going to create our project somewhere else and that is inside Jam, then stdocs. But you can actually install Laravel project anywhere in your PC through Composer Global Rika Laravel slash installer. But I actually love to keep all my project inside Jamp Docs because we know Laravel is PHP framework, right? And Jamp will actually provide us the PHP server. So basically, I like to actually do this, but you can actually uh, create your project anywhere in your PC, okay? So let's just go to the Jamp and then stdocs and here we are going to create the project so we are going to open command prompt here cmd and here we are going to say open code hit enter so open code will be open here but now i need a prompt so let's go to the chat gpt now here i will say that i want to generate i want to create a laravel hotel management system using open code CLI so that open code CLI can generate open code CLI can generate this 
hit enter so you just have to go through all the things i mean if you need to change anything just mention here and then ask for the reprompt okay i mean ask, ask for uh, to regenerate this prompt so i'm okay with this prompt so i'm going to copy this and i'll go back to the open course cla and here i'm going to paste it all right i have pasted it and make sure make sure you have opened your server both server apache and mysql so i'm going to hit enter and now it will actually do all the works step by step go through all the things here you can see uh, these are the steps and in the right side you will find that which one is actually now working so if it is done then it will be tick marked okay and you have to actually wait for uh, all the steps so maybe it will take more than one hour maybe more faster in your case because uh, it depends on your system uh, configuration and at the same time internet connection also so yeah that's it uh, so we have to wait for uh, this project completion so let's wait for it so as you can see uh, it completed the whole project and you can see this is the login credential so from this admin you have to actually log in through admin at hotel.com and then the password will be password so let's go access all the pieces now uh, before that you actually go back to the project directory and our project is inside jam then scdocs and here you can see this is the project Hotel management hyphen l so here we are going to open command pump cmd and we are going to say here php rt sum serve to run the server now we just copy this here enter to copy this let's go back to the browser here we are going to paste it so here you can see we got uh, error here and now what I have to do, we have to actually copy the whole error and let's just copy this. Let's go back to the open code CLI and here we are going to paste it and we are going to say fixed them out. Basically if you find any error every single time you, uh, you have to actually uh, paste the error here and you have to ask for the solve. So it will actually execute all the things and it will find the issue and then it will solve all those issues. Now you can see uh, the system is fully functional now. So let's go once again and now we'll refresh. And still we got the error. So what we have to do, we have to actually copy the error once again. And after that, we have to go to the open course CLI and here we are going to paste it. Now let's check once again. So we we'll actually go to the browser and now refresh and here you can see it's working perfectly. So these are the credentials you can see for the login page. If you are admin, then you have to log in as an admin, right? So copy this and paste it here. Then we have password is password. So we are going to copy this and here we can paste it. Go to the login here. You can see this is the dashboard. And we have rooms, different types and all the stuffs. And basically these are not working. Alright, so we have to actually make here some changes. And still there is no logout option. Okay, so we got the logout button here. So everything is working here, but it, so you can see we cannot actually access these pages. And uh, if you want to fix all these issues, you just have to go to the open course CLI and then you have to mention those issues. Okay, and it will solve all the issues. So I'm not going to show you everything step by step because the video will be very long. What you have to do is to just uh, you know mention all these issues, okay? And then it will actually fix all the issues. You don't need to do any coding here. This is the thing. I hope you got it. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.